Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'll be showing you how I got these finger coils and I'll also be doing a review on Novex Hair Care. Uh, this is their My Curls Movie Star line that just launched and I use the shampoo, the conditioner, deep conditioner, and leave-in. So I'll be giving you uh, my feedback and my opinion on all of those products. So, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial and the review. So this is my hair after washing and conditioning. The shampoo was kind of thick but it was very moisturizing and soft and it had the consistency of a conditioner and it did not strip my hair. Then I went in with the conditioner and that was also very moisturizing, very soft, it had a lot of slip and it was easy to comb through my hair. Now I'm going to use the deep conditioner. So I did my research on this brand and their line and apparently they are notoriously known for their deep conditioner so I was very excited to try it. So as you can see from my reaction, um, it made my hair really soft and smooth and it also provided a lot of slip but I didn't do have to do much combing out because I already combed my hair out in the shower with the regular conditioner. So I didn't I didn't split my hair into four sections. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the products that I've used so far, which are the shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. The shampoo was very moisturizing. It lathered and it didn't strip my hair, which is important. And the conditioner and the deep conditioner also were amazing because they provided a lot of slip and my hair was easy to comb through after applying the product. And I especially like the deep conditioner because not only did it leave my hair soft and moisturized, but my, my curl pattern was also very defined. And I don't naturally have a defined curl pattern so I know that I applied a good deep conditioner when my hair pattern looks defined after I rinse out the conditioner and have not applied any product yet so I was satisfied with the deep conditioner Once my hair is fully detangled, I put it into two twists, pin it up, and then put a shower cap over it and sit under a dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I rinse it out, and then I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner. This is what my hair looks like after rinsing out the deep conditioner. Now I'm going to section my hair off and apply the leave-in conditioner. I got this need for you. I normally apply my leave-in conditioner in the shower when my hair is soaking wet because that's the best way to do it for me. But because I'm filming for you guys, I just had to re-wet my hair a little bit so that I could apply my leave-in conditioner. Now, the leave-in conditioner was really thick um, and it almost had the consistency of a conditioner or deep conditioner. Usually, I don't apply leave-in conditioners that are this thick. I mean, I like them thick, but not too thick because 
I also don't like my, my leave-in conditioners too thin either, like when they're really watery. But this consistency was really thick, so I was worried that the style that I was going to do wasn't going to come out right because I thought it was going to weigh down my hair. Now, I'm not sure if I would use this leave-in conditioner with a wash-and-go because it's just a lot. And I may have applied too much, but the consistency is still very heavy which I would not use for a wash and go. So the leave-in conditioner actually worked for this hairstyle. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I would use it with a wash and go, but I guess I would have to test it out and see. But overall, I mean, it still made my hair moisturized and soft and, you know, sealed in the moisture. So I was satisfied with it. Just I don't think I would do it for every single hairstyle. Looking you over, you don't know my name yet. I'll also be listing all the products that I use down in the description box. So if you guys are interested in buying them, if you want to test them out on your own hair, everything is listed down below. So here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to do the finger coils. So I used the Caracare Foam Wrap Set Lotion and I recently started using foams because they're very lightweight. They don't weigh my hair down and they also don't flake. So foams work best for me with styling my hair and I love them. And because they are water based and they're very watery, um, you don't need to apply more water to your hair. So. First I just coat my strands with the foam and then I get into the finger coils and as you can see here, you're just twirling each section around your finger. Now I did have to go back and separate these coils as they were too thick and they were starting to unravel and getting frizzy so I needed to make them smaller but this is how you do them. Also, don't worry about the excess white product that you see. That will dry clear, um, so you don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. This is the size section that I used for most of them. However, like I said before, I needed to split some up. So again, you just start twirling from the root and then you work your way down to the ends and you want to keep a consistent motion. So that one kind of looks too big and I probably had to do that over. But now I'm going to speed it up for you guys. See, this is the size that it should be. This is a little smaller. So this is the size you should do. And it probably also depends on how thin or thick your hair is, but it seems like these sections work for me, these two that I just did. I also learned that when you're doing any style with curls, whether it's a flexi rod set, perm rod set, or finger coils, you want to curl or twist away from your face. So you want to do it in the opposite direction. This way, one, the curls won't be in your face. And two, you'll just get a more desired look with the way your hair will fall and, and the shape of it as well. It will it would look better. Today we'll 
So this is what the finger coils look like when they're wet. I'm going to sit under a dryer for an hour and then I'm going to go to bed. So I did a combination of air drying and sitting under a dryer just to make sure that they were completely dry when I take them out. This is what my hair looks like completely dry. Now I'm going to take an oil to start unraveling. So I'll be using the Elodia Nourish and Grow Healthy Hair Scalp Oil and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hands and coat my strands before I start unraveling. I unravel like I do my twist outs or perm rod sets or braid outs. You just want to gently pull them apart and you also want to twist the each individual strand in the direction that you did your finger coil just to maintain um, the coil and the curl. Also to eliminate frizz. As you can see it got a little frizzy but that, that's why you use oil to try to eliminate that. So now we're at the final steps. You just want to fluff it out and you want to get it to your desired look and you also may want to change your part. You may want to adjust that. I did. I like to wear my hair mostly to the side or at least with this style. Um, but then that's it and that's the final look. So if you guys like what you saw, if you want to see more, um, please like and comment. Let me know what you want to see and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at imani.marie. Also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.